Hello and welcome to something a little bit different. Eve. Eve Online. Now this game's been out for, oh my god, probably 10 years. I don't know. It's been out a long time anyway. I remember trying it about at least 4-5 or five years ago. And having got into a conversation with a good friend of mine, Red, about some space games, Star Citizen and the other one. I've forgotten the name of it now. Um, I thought I'd visit Eve Online. It's free. You get one month. It's gameplay free. And I've just been going through a couple of the tutorials, and this game is not user friendly at all. You it seems like you've got to be Einstein to understand this game. It's so complicated. Even the tutorials are. Uh, anyway, that's the little gooey pod that you get in, and that goes inside all the ships in order f to protect you from G forces, etc., etc. So let's just get into a mining ship. Let's just go out for a little a little blast out into the universe, do a little bit of mining, come back. And then you can tell me what a noob I am, and why I'm, I'm struggling, and why I don't understand 99.9% .9 of the game. <laughs> so here's our mining frigate. I do wish there was an animation that um, showed you leaving the spaceship, but for now let's get out into space and have a little look around. Now one thing this game has got is scale. I'm mean, look at that as I zoom out a little bit. See just the scale on that. Uh, the military academy I think it is. So compared to Elite Dangerous I think this game has got... It's just incredibly huge. So I've clicked up here mining and I've uh, set to warp to a nearest asteroid belt. I'm going to go out there and do a little bit of mining. And as we get out there, I might start to show you just some of how in-depth and complicated this game can be. It is not user-friendly, I don't care what anybody says. Even the tutorials are just complete and utter head fuck, honestly. So, we're out here now, and if I scroll over here, you can see there's an asteroid belt over there. So I'm going to click on one of these rocks, right-click on one of these. Uh, let's go for this one. And these options pop up. I'm just going to click on approach for now. So our mining ship is going to blast straight over now over to the asteroid belt. Once we get a little bit closer. If I remember rightly, the um, mining lasers on this ship are set at 10 kilometers. So we need to get fairly close in. See there's another, another ship over there. He's probably going to be doing the same thing. And we can click on information here about the ship. Find out who he is and what he's up to. We can even approach him. If I click on this, we'll start to fly over towards him now. Now, what I do know is, is that we're in high sec at the minute, which means there's quite there's a lot of high security in this area. You're not likely to get killed by other players, as there is what's called El Conquistador, El Quistadore, which is my my faction's police, basically. Anybody who attacks me for no reason will get a bounty put on their heads and other players can take them down. That's what that's what I, th I think it is anyway. I, I may be wrong, as I said, the game is incredibly in-depth. So I'm just going to make my way over here. Graphics are really quite beautiful, especially when you see other aircraft, or ships should I say, leaving these um, large hulks. Yeah. <coughs> no complaint on the uh, graphics at all. Everything's set on high. And uh, yeah, very nice. And the music, I might have got the music a little bit loud on this, but it sets the tone. So now I'm going to click info. And we can look at all the information down. I mean, look at all the stuff in here. There's just. Don't need all this information. <laughs> information overkill. Click on there. So it's part of the Illuminati. Alright then. A key I have learnt is left control and space slows you down and minus and plus key speed you up, etc. So I'm going to click on this and click target on this rock. And I'm going to click my two mining lasers here. And there we go, as you can see. Let's put my mining lasers on now. 
is mining minerals. Uh, Velspar, I think it is, which is the most common mineral in the universe. And that's going to start filling up now. I actually got this ship by luck. Going through the tutorials, somebody said, no, you want to just click F12 and go to career paths. And there are tutorials for each different section, mining, exploration, combat, finance, all sorts. As you can see, this is what I'm actually mining at the minute. And this bar at the top should start to fill up. Lots of other things in the background as well. To information on moons and suns and galaxies and black holes and wormholes and all sorts in here. All complete in utter double dutch. And as you can see on the left hand side there's got this huge menu of different stuff in here. So you can see that blue bar is filling up really rather slow. This is not a game, certainly not a speedy game. You're going to be playing this for the long haul and many players have been playing the game for five to eight years and they're still getting in depth and learning things so the game is huge but if you do fancy a game just go to EVE online and you get a month for free you can sign up with your Facebook profile you don't need to put your credit cards or anything in like that so don't worry if you forget about it and I've just brought all my ship's information here so you can see I've got some mining lasers in here um, again all these stats and figures on the right it's just it's overkill for a new player, honestly. It's just... Even the bottom dial menu, and it's not very well explained at all. There's so much information on screen, it's like, fucking hell. Too much, too quick, too soon. So I'm just going through some of these menus again. No idea what all this information is. It's not explained. There is actually a question mark you'll see on the bottom left. And you can click on there and click join a certain chat group. And there is one in there for noobs. You can type the question in and there are other players that will help you out. And that's what the flashing icon up at the top left is. Saying that there, there are people chatting away in there. So there is help available. Still, it, it immensely, incredibly complicated and confusing for new players, and I think, I don't know, I think it, this sort of thing really puts off new players, it doesn't guide you by the hand at all. One of the missions I need help with is, get yourself two civilian afterburners. Doesn't t tell me how, I don't have enough money, you're selling minerals, and where does, where does that money go, how, how do you know how much money you've got, I, it, it's so confusing. And as I, I've clicked on this now, this gives you an idea of some of the ships for my my um, Kaldari, which is the uh, the nation I have picked. And you can see there is all these ships in here, and the uh, the path, the progression path, which you probably have to spend millions and millions of credits to get to this. You can see down here, that's probably going to be my next one, the Kaldari shuttle, because I want to get into the industrial section mining and uh, things like that. I've got no interest in combat at all. N zero interest. And um, lots of stuff in here. Frigates, battleships, cruisers. There are ships for deep space exploration, uh, transport freighters, combat fighters. There's even bombers in here somewhere. Um, can we make this bigger? Yeah, there we go. Get an idea of some of the ships in there. It's a Raven. It's a battleship. I don't know where the fuel and other such things come into it. I know there's a fee when you go to jump gates and things like that. So I don't know what happens if you run out of money. I know there are bounty hunters and uh, there's all sorts. And if you go out into low sec, which is low security, there's basically anything goes. You're out there on your own when you go out into deep space. So it's probably better if you just join a conglomerate or a group or a faction or whatever they're called in game and uh, go out together. Uh, what else have we got in here? 
personal assets, wallet, uh, what's help? I got all this stuff in here. Anyway, let's close this down. So, looks like we've got quite a bit in there. And as you can see, we've got a long way to go before we fill that up. But let's just head back now and uh, get rid of these. And if I can remember, how do you do it now? It's the... Uh, the war thing that we need. War Academy, there we go. Right click. Whoops. Uh, we'll send it straight to dock, I think. Oh, we'll approach it. Let's, let's just approach it. So now that's going to turn our ship round and we're going to be blasting back to the War Academy. This is actually part of the um, the military police, as it were, those little blue ones. Let's have a look down there. He's a new player, because that's one of the first ships you start off in before you start to do your career paths, which is what I'm currently on now. Yeah, so those blue ones will protect you. Any um, other faction that comes anywhere near us, and they will be shot down. Basically, think of it as a safe haven, safe haven for noobs. That's basically what it is. Very nice indeed. Imagine it's good if you get two or three of you and you uh, go the progression path yourself. You can actually buy your own star ports, um, areas in space that then belong to you, etc. Well, of course, you need to defend them. Right. Let's get aboard. So here we go. So now I know if I click this up here, this is what is in my ship. And I want to go to the my ship. This is the one I'm in. There we go, and that's what we've just mined. So we can either drag that or right click it, uh, reprocess it into minerals. There we go, and process one to the other. Uh, all, again, all this stuff is all double dutch to me. All these facts, figures, numbers, it's uh, oh, brain melting. Right, and that's transferred into there. And now I've got all this stuff in here, which I don't know. Do I need to reprocess this again? It's got a no symbol. Uh, again, very, 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 very confusing. It doesn't explain any of the stuff that's in here at all. It's I don't know why this, with a game that's been running this long, is obviously successful. Why there isn't a much 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 better tutorial for new players because honestly I can see that this eventually will be so complicated I'll just give up I just won't have the time to be reading forums and researching and looking up wikis and this just to do the simplest goddamn thing so I've got no idea what I'm doing now I know I have to uh, on this one I have to get two times one MN civilian afterburners so I presume I've just got to sell all this shit to get enough money doesn't explain it to you, doesn't tell you how to do it, nothing. So I'm going to come to the marketplace then, and I'm going to search for this, well it's two isn't it, one MN civilian afterburners, right, afterburner, search, so it must be in here I presume, there it is, right, right, so Sellers, the top. I need two of them. And from the sellers on here, it looks like the station has one for 155,000. Or, or, but that's the same place. State War Academy. Why is they've got eight for that, but one for? Oh God! Just fucking buy it. Yeah, buy it. And I want two of them. Does that mean I ain't got enough money in red? Found buy it. It's two. You know, so I'm getting ripped off. In other words, I haven't quite got enough cash. Right, I'm gonna jump out, do a bit more mining, get the cash. I shall be straight back. And with the power of Grayskull, I've got some more dosh. Been out and done some more mining. Right. 
So I want to buy two of these then. Quantity two. Buy. Uh, whatever. Don't understand any of that. Uh, yeah, it's above regional average, but I need them. Right, so I've bought them. Now where are they? Hello? Uh, my orders. Civilian afterburner. Well, I bought two. Why does it say one of two? Region the Forge, which is where we are. Expires in 23 hours. Again, this is when the game starts starting to become a little bit frustrating. It's just... Oh, you want to play the game? Here you go. Throw you in a big bog of shit and go, see you later, and flush you down the toilet. Because, I mean, what the... F I, I'm so confused now. Do not understand.